Assalamualaikum, my name is uh, Afzal Akram. I'm a former councillor of uh, London Borough of Waltham Forest, a lifelong resident here. We are here at a meeting today uh, arranged by the Waltham Forest Islamic Association together with the Muslim community to discuss the merits of uh, compulsory sex and religious education in schools. And we're going to be hearing from various speakers. My own personal views is a bit of a mixed bag. My own parents never discussed sex or relationship education with us. It was not a dumb thing at all. In those days we had no internet um, and so the only way we would find about it was actually meeting, talking to, or obviously once you've grown up and as they say the responsibility hits you, you learn about it. However in today's modern age, and this is a personal view, it's my personal view, I think we have to get the balance right between burying our head in the sand and thinking it doesn't apply to us and also looking at what is available to our children, what information is available to our children and how can we teach them what is right and wrong. I believe parents should have the right to teach their children sex and religious education. They should teach them what they believe is right and wrong. But I think children also have a right to know what's out there. Because if we try and stop it, let's look at it. All our children nowadays have a mobile phone in their hand. And if they don't, they have access to the internet. They type sex, they type gay, they type lesbian, they tie LGBT into it and the internet will throw up its view on what it thinks and how it will explain to them. Now if schools are providing this uh, uh, education, then as parents we should look at it, we should understand it. And once your child has had that education, when they come home, you should discuss it with your children. And you should then tell them what your belief is, what your religion is, what's right, what's wrong in your view, and have a discussion as a parent and a child. It's an opportunity for you to discuss that with your children. Otherwise, we will shamedly just bury our head in the sand and think it's not going to happen. Parents should have a right to withdraw their child if they feel so strongly about it, okay, from, the, from those educations. I'll tell you what will happen is, as soon as that class is finished, your child will ask another child, what happened in that class that I wasn't allowed to go into? And that child will give their interpretation of what they were taught to your child. Okay? Therefore, I believe we should get the balance right. Children should be taught about it. But as parents, we should tell them what's right and wrong for us and us as a family. And that's a personal thing.